Hello Patreon community, today I'm releasing the interactive water system. Yes, of course, it needs more features to be added, but this is version 1 and it has a lot of features packed. So let me show you what features it includes. Right now we have a river over here with the flow direction and this river can be made by splines. So let's go over here and turn on the gizmo. So when I select the river over here, you can see we have here a spline point and this spline point, if I hold out on my keyboard, I can create one more spline. The idea when you start creating a spline river is to have even separation between the previous point and the next point, so it doesn't stretch the river. And as you can see over here, we are creating one more spline for the river. And let me hold out on my keyboard to create one more. And this is how you can create your river. And the flow itself, as you can observe, it is flowing in this direction. So in the interactive system, we have rivers based on splines that you can create. And when you select your river, here in the options, you can simulate the distance. This is the distance that the waves will be simulated from the player. So it can have performance boost. If you want to simulate it to the closer to the player, you need to set up a lower simulate distance. Then you can turn on and off the caustics. So right now it's off, right now it's on. And let me show you how this looks. So when I go into the river, you can see and I fixed the caustics to have blending between the character and the endpoint so you don't have to see a sharper edge. And when you move in the water, you're creating splashes over here. This particle right now is just, for example, you can uh, replace it with more adequate particle depending on your river that has more splashes, etc. And when you move your character, we're creating waves behind your character. The next thing is when you jump in the river, it will also create a splash. Of course, this is uh, changeable, so you can change it to your taste or just get another splashes from the Epic Marketplace or make some of your own. So we have splashes, we have waves uh, behind our character, we have current flow of the river. And also we have caustics in the river. Right now we have different kind of floating objects, all right? So this is a fourth point floating object. And right now, if I move over here, the mass of my character will push the floating object, but we're gonna stay a little bit over the ground. If we go into the center, we're gonna stay on the floating object. If we go to the edge, you can see how it floats. Then we go to the different objects that can float. We have 8 point per set, we have 4 point, we have 1 point and you can make a custom point per set. So the 4 point per set is like this previous one. The 1 point per set is holding the center of the floating object with just 1 point in the center. And as you can see, all these things can be set up for the gravity, etc. Let me show you the 8 point object. I'm just pushing it. All right. And we have eight points. So each of the edge point of this cube has a floating pointer and the cube will float in that direction. And of course, all the physical bodies can be pushed around in the water by your character. If you want to generate ripples to another moving object, you need to have on the belt actors attack water. And the ripples itself are based on the velocity, not of the delta location. So the velocity of the objects is generating those waves behind the object. So we talk about the river surface and how you can enable the caustic and simulate the distance. And I have two new materials instances, which is the water river, the first one. This is the material instance for rivers, if you want to create rivers. If I double click on it, you can see that it keeps all the parameters from my previous water shader. You can have foam, you can have flowers, you can have waves. Let's say you want to turn on the rain in the in the river. You can turn on the rain and you can have the rain in the river. You can turn on the leaves so you can create some swamp over here. Just, just replace those textures with a little swamp or something else that you want. You can remove the foam if you want to. And right now we are not going to have foam at the edges of our river. And of course you can change the color. And you can add also a secondary color. 
and your river will have another color. You can use the color contrast to create different contrasts in the color of the river. You can use the color depth to create different depth on, in your color. And a lot of other functions like water roughness, we have shoreline fade, we have metallic, we have fake refraction index, we have opacity of the river. You can make it very clear, you can make it very uh, opaque over here if you want the water to be opaque. A lot of functions are there guys that you can use. We can also simulate waves over here, different kind of waves. We are pushing over here the normal map. You can tweak up the wave size, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can tweak up the wave speed so the water is a little bit more alive and you can tweak the flow speed of the water. You can have a different texture for the waves etc. So this water river material instance is for water rivers, the next one is for water waves. This is different one, this is for the ponds and not for the rivers. And it is packed again with all the features that my water material has. All the tools are there, all the main functions for the cover, shoreline, cover depth, metallic, capacity, waves, foam, everything is over here. The next thing that I want to show you is how you can create a floater object. You need to go to the blueprints and floaters and over here we have a floater component. In this floater component, in this cube particularly, we simulate the physics, we set up the mass, we set up the liner damper, angular damper, and we enable the gravity. Then what you need to do is add a floater component to your mesh. You can add this to any mesh that you have in your project. So just drag and drop the floater component over here. And when you add it and click on the floater object, you can see here that we have a setup, which is auto one point we have out of four points it will automatically detect four points from your mesh we have out of eight points and we have manual when you do manual you need to add different coordinates for your points you can add as many points as you want over here and it is based on x y and z then the floatiness it says how floaty is the object this is combined floatiness for all floaters you can play with this one to get the right floatiness for your object and if you want to create new river, to the, go to the Blueprints water system and drag, drag and drop the river system. And in this river system, enable your gizmo and start drag and dropping some points over here to create your river. Alright, so river system, this is the water surface, which is this one, and you can scale it up. So if I want to add another water surface over here, I can easily add it. I can also scale it up, scale it down like that and I can tweak all the parameters to my material instance and if you want to create a different kind, a different type, a different color of this one, you just need to create another material instance from this one and just tweak up the parameters accordingly to your level. Then moving to two functions that I've created is the water systems functions. Here you can call this function create simulated splash which will create and simulate the splashes and this will create the particle splashes alright. So you can call those two functions anywhere in your code where you want to create splashes. Let's say an NPC, a dog is jumping inside the water you can then uh, call the simulated splashes and particle splashes and create a splash effect for the dog that is going into the water. Another thing that I've added over here is a shooting mechanism that will create also splashes. Right now it works with line trace and if I click left click on my on my mouse you can see that I'm creating splashes over here and let me show you where the code is. The code is inside the character so if I go to my third person blueprints and op open my third person character you can see here that I have a function shoot which is triggering the left mouse button and here we create a line trace and we are calling the create simulated splash and create particle splash over here all right so we are calling those two functions and we are creating the simulated splash over there in the water so this is pretty much the water system and how it looks right now. It is pretty advanced at the moment. However, I need to add a little more functions like when you go in the water here, you need to have this water effect of the camera, which is coming in the version uh, two of the water system. 
and please let me know in the comments what other feature you want to include in the water system so I can implement it and make it as advanced as possible so you guys can utilize it and use it in your games. Thank you guys for your continuous support. See you guys in the next video.